I rise today to remember the devastating events of July 20th, 2012 in Aurora, Colorado. I represented Aurora, Colorado on this day 10 years ago when in an Aurora theater, 12 lives were taken, 70 were wounded, and an entire community was scarred and traumatized. Today marks a very painful day for our community and my heart aches with those who lost a loved one that day and will forever carry a hold in their heart. Yet in this tragedy, we saw incredible heroism. Those who carried the wounded to safety and the first responders and medical teams whose tireless efforts saved lives. I'd like to recognize the 12 who lost their lives that night. A.J. Boyk, 18, Jesse Childress, 29, Gordon Cowden, 51, whose two teenage children were in the theater when he was killed, Jessica Gowie, 24, Michaela Medic, 23, Veronica Mosier Sullivan, 6, whose mother was shot in the chest and miscarried a week after the attack, Rebecca Wingo, 32, and Alex Sullivan, who was celebrating his 27th birthday and one was one week away from his first wedding anniversary. This also includes the four men who died that night while saving others. Jonathan Blunk, 26, John Larimer, 27, Matt McQuinn, 27, and Alex Teves, 24. In the face of unspeakable violence and tragedy, these men proved to be everyday heroes, sacrificing their own lives to save others. Gun violence rips through our community, leaving trauma with families and friends of victims, the medical staff and first responders, and the entire community for a lifetime. It is a trauma and a scar too many communities in Colorado and too many communities across the country have faced. As our country grapples with incidents of violence, chaos, and tragedy, it is the courageous acts and selfless spirit of the helpers and heroes among us that we remember. During our darkest days, there are always everyday heroes who answer the call to save lives and help their community. They provide light and hope for the future. The same heroic acts we saw in Aurora, Colorado 10 years ago have been reflected in other tragedies as gun violence continues in our communities, including in the recent tragedies in Highland Park, Illinois, Uvalde, Texas, and Buffalo, New York. And heroes can come in many different forms. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw heroes in medical professionals, frontline workers, and essential personnel such as truck drivers and letter carriers, food and grocery workers, teachers, small business owners, and researchers. That's why I'm once again introducing a resolution alongside my friend and colleague, Congressman Jason Crow, to designate today, July 20th, as National Heroes Day. As Mr. Rogers famously said, you'll always find people who are helping. In the midst of our dark days, let's focus on lifting up and recognizing the helpers and the heroes whose actions, big and small, make a difference in the lives of friends, coworkers, neighbors, and the larger community. With that, I yield back, Madam Speaker.